Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So we're starting the message today with our beautiful Sally the Salamander, that's what I've called her from Frozen 2 and you know yesterday I shared that little message you know George bought me some gifts and one of them was this you know this beautiful fire lizard or fire salamander from Frozen 2 and in the film he's kind of jumping around and he's connected with the fire element and he's just so beautiful and you know he also jumps onto Elsa's head and I feel this is a big sign that the crown chakra is opening today so another mascot for our channel and I just wanted to really show him to you, he's so beautiful. I also want to give a big shout out to our amazing soul sister, Lizzie Brayford, for sending me this powerful, the Angels and Gemstone Guardian cards. And we're going to use these today alongside um, this card, this deck here. I'll find out what it is. I think it's the Tarot of Dreams, this one. And, you know, a Lucy Cavendish deck. And to let you know, if you are a member, there's a longer message today. I've done a pick a pile in that message too, to answer any burning questions you may have about your journey. And if you'd like to become a member, I've shared a community post today with all the details you need to know. We've also got one of our powerful soul sisters really sharing messages from heaven right now. And that's our soul sister, Miss D. Now, I've updated again the featured channels list. I've popped her on there because, wow. Okay, her channel is just amazing and enlightening and she's so tapped in with the divine, it blows my mind. And, you know, she's really kind of talking about her own journey and how she's kind of surrendered to heaven. And all the information and guidance has just come through. You know, she's been guided absolutely to her life path right now and her mission, which is helping twin flames boosting vibration and helping everyone to feel good so I really do recommend that you check out her channel it's on the community page it's called Misty she's amazing and she's really connected with source and you know you'll feel the passion and the power and her connection coming through in her readings so do check her out so a big shout out to you and if you make sure Misty as well that your Amazon wish list is updated with the address I'm going to send you something like from my heart to your heart as soul sisters. So let's do this then. Because you guys know that every day I'm shuffling. So what do we need to know today? So obviously it's Saturday today. And it's so powerful because, you know, there's a lot of kind of sexual energy coming from your masculine today. And, you know, I've shared day 16 today of the masculine journey. And, you know, I've had to put an 18 plus on because it's, you know, it's a bit passionate and it's really powerful because last night, you know, George was in the other room and he was kind of making some food and he was dancing around the kitchen a little bit, singing Push It by Salt and Pepper. And I was in here and he didn't really know that I was listening to him, but he was singing Push It, Push It real good. And I thought, wow, okay, so a lot of sexual energy going on with the masculines. And then I watched his reading, which I shared on the community page. And it's all about the masculine feeling the heat for the feminine and the Kundalini rising. So if you've been feeling this, you know, maybe you've been bursting into song or feeling everything rising up within you or feeling the sexual tension. And you can obviously watch the masculine series day 16 and it will make more sense. But, you know, there's a lot of passion around today and that's what I'm feeling. The masculine's wanting the divine feminine. So we're going to shuffle and see what's going on. So I'm really excited to use these new cards. A lot of information on them. So I feel it's really going to shed light on what's going on. So I'm going to start with the Tarot of Dreams. So let's do some cards for the divine feminine, okay? Cards for the Divine Masculine today. What do we need to know? Thank you, angels. And cards for the journey. Cards for the journey. Thank you. What they're wanting me to do is use these cards for the energy. So instead of doing, you know, it for the masculine and feminine, the journey, this is going to be the energy of the connection. So what's the general energy of the connection today? Love conquers all. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The energy of the connection is that love conquers all what a beautiful message to bring it and the message says enduring loyalty 
eternal love and lasting commitment. And this is powerful because we've got this beautiful wolf behind the lady there or here. And I feel this is about higher consciousness, connecting with the truth power. They're also showing me in the background a horse. Now, I know you can't see that. This is coming through intuitively. And we had the horse the other day on the daily messages. So, you know, if you're not watching the daily angel messages right now, I really recommend you watch them because it's also connected with what you're going through and what your masculine is going through on a daily basis, on a daily level. So the horse is significant to freedom and passion and purpose. So this is about the power of love. And we've also got the number 24, which is connected with the 2020 to 2024 energy of the twin flames coming into union. Really powerful message to come through here. They also show me this as a brown bear. So intuitively, the, the animals I'm sensing is obviously the wolf a horse and a brown bear, about movement, boldness, change, freedom, and the masculine's understanding what this is. So the message is today, love conquers all. And it really does, it overcomes fear. And it's really beautiful because, you know, one of our soul sisters shared something about the princess bride and, you know, mentioned that she'd watched it. And, you know, we talk about twilight, we talk about the Colbys, we talk about all these things where we're shown the way. And remembering the princess bride, love conquers all. That's the power of the message because, you know, you've got Wesley and Buttercup and they get separated by time and distance. And, you know, they say death doesn't stop true love. All it can do is delay it for a while. And when we go into separation, it feels like a death or a rebirth. We feel sometimes like our life is over when we're in separation, there's pain. And we have to go through the ego death to bring in the rebirth. So this is about knowing that love conquers all and, you know, nothing can stop true love. You know, nothing. It can only delay it for a while. So anything that seems to be in the way of your connection, it's just delaying it for a while. It's not over. It's just beginning. So you have to see things from a fresh perspective and to remember that our words and our thoughts have power. You know, our thoughts are so powerful, they create our life, but our words are powerful too, the things we say. So if we're speaking positively about our journey and speaking with love and respect about our masculine, things are going to move forward quicker and we're going to feel better, more at peace. But if we're being negative towards our twin or negative about our journey because of our perception of it, and the way that we are letting the ego control things, putting us into pain, then it takes longer and it feels like a struggle. It feels painful. So you have the choice now to choose your path. Are you going to move towards union as you find your way to union, as you trust your journey and enjoy your journey in a positive mindset, feeling good? trusting, knowing that all is well and that you are safe and protected or are you going to move towards union feeling like it's a burden or a curse or it's painful or you're carrying around burdens and they're giving me like the cross on the back so carrying around all the burden you have the choice you know what happens to you is neutral you know, it's how you see that makes it good or bad. It's whether you're giving your power away, power away to your twin, to their karmic partner, to the situation. You have the power now to take back your power in this moment. So do what feels right for you. So give me a little bit of fear around the throat chakra. So fears of communication, trust and love. So the message of this reading, the overall energy today is that love conquers all things really beautiful and this is enduring loyalty so you have to remember they are loyal to you and if you've seen the dog and i am seeing the dog in this too connected with loyalty eternal love so that's the infinity sign you know the number eight when you turn it on its side it's infinite love it's power it's strength if you've seen swans if you've seen dolphins you know if you've seen any kind of double numbers anything that's showing you that this love is real and lasting commitment and this is what it is. It's lasting commitment, sacred union, sacred love. It will be eternal. It's forever. So what's the energy then around the feminine? We've got, wow, and this is, says anti-hero. 
it says maverick risk taker rule breaker so this has been showing you that you know you are a hero and we've got the word anti there anti-hero so what i'm feeling with this is this is understanding that you have to be for your journey you know you have to be for your journey not against your journey and you have to trust in your journey and that makes you a hero so you are a hero divine feminine be your own hero be your own muse remember who you are you know you are joan of arc of your life you are superman or superwoman of your life you have the power and you are a risk taker and this is also a sign that you have to take a risk you have to give your heart it makes you feel vulnerable you know to to put your heart out there it's a risk that you take this journey is a risk and nobody said it would be easy but it's so worth it so be your own hero today take back your power and know your truth you know rule breaker so you are a rule breaker because you don't abide by the rules that means that you step outside the box you do you who cares what people think you do what you want to do doesn't matter what anyone says or does it matters how you feel and what you think and what you do so do things that feel right for you and be a rule breaker and that's who we are as spiritual beings we are rule breakers risk takers we are heroes because to your masculine you are a hero because you're living in the light you're living your truth you are authentic and strong so for the masculines wow we've got nobility love this we've got another beautiful um wolf there but again i'm seeing it as a dog loyalty and your masculine's eyes are on you today it says on at high standards idealistic so you are their ideal woman or their ideal guy and you know they are very noble in this and this means you know that they are honoring you from their high standards so that means that they respect you they are honoring you so another thing that when you're in separation as much as it hurts they are honoring you they don't want to be giving you breadcrumbs anymore they don't want to be hurting you anymore they want to honor you and to honor your light it's powerful and strong they are saying to you i am loyal to you so this is also about loyalty you know enduring loyalty that love conquers all so they are showing you this healing going on they're also showing me the back wings there about kind of going through the darkness and overcoming the darkness the light coming through there's a staircase in this so your masculine is showing you that they are moving down this staircase and going deep down into their mind into their psyche working things out they also want me to bring in the angel numbers book here now just to let you know as well in february i'm doing a big giveaway i'm going to be giving one of these away as well you know just one of the many things i'm giving away so you know if you've always wanted an angel book then make sure you're available in february for valentine's day for this giveaway so for the masculine we've got the number 42 so this means let's read this out angels are lovingly guiding you to express your emotion wow align yourself with your truth and your integrity and this is nobility and what they're actually showing me here is as well the light you know the light this is orbs around them which means spirit angels guides you know listening and understanding their truth and it's really important we listen to that today and understand that they are being guided by heaven to express their emotions to show you their true feelings to be noble and to respect you too so I feel this is about coming back together, apologies and change, because love conquers all. And you could even see this as well, like your masculine approaching you, you know, your masculine approaching you, this kind of wolf moving forward. So this is about movement and change. And for the feminine here, we've got the number 18. So the number 18 says, if I find this one, your angels are encouraging you to take an inventory of your past experiences in order to understand your current position and lessons wow so you're being guided to look at the past today to review the past to renew the past and that's really powerful in this moment especially if you are a capricorn because that's what today's daily message is all about for you you know your horoscope reading for this day and because that's a general energy this is about renewing your life so to renew your life you have to review your life which means look at the past with an open mind and realize that everything you've been through even the harshness and the lessons have taught you what you needed to know so the angels are encouraging you to look at that 
and to be very strong about it. And the number 24, which we've got for the journey, well, this is the overall energy here. The number 24 is angels are shining a light of harmony on you and your personal relationship. Any conflicts are now being resolved. How beautiful is that? So conflicts are being resolved because love conquers all things. Over angel bumps. What a beautiful message. Wow. Amazing. So we're going to do these then. But the main message coming in is love conquers all things. I'm going to leave this here actually because it's so powerful. So before we go into the, the crystal cards, and I'm going to do them separate, we're going to look at the tarot. So for the feminine today, wow, we've got the hermit and the priestess, powerful, two powerful major arcana coming through here because, you know, this is actually a day of going within. And, you know, as I said, if you watch the daily angel messages, then the, this or the whole journey makes more sense because that's the energy of this day. You know, in the daily angel message today, we've got the mountain. And it's all about going within to seek the answers. So feminines today, this is about you going within, renewing things in your life, which the angels are guiding you to do, to realize that you are a hero and that you have to be for your journey, not against your journey. Even if, you know, you think you're for your journey, if you're using negative words or thoughts, you know, it's affecting the energy. And you're moving into alignment and your psychic power. So go within to receive guidance and illumination today about your spiritual truth. And what the show me here is, you've got the blue and the pink there. Okay. And this is the energy of Archangel Sandal Fern. That's the call of the guiding me to answering your prayers, hearing your prayers. And the pink there of Archangel Jophiel helping you to see through the eyes of love. So your vibration is shifting today. And we've got the number one, one, which is obviously about the 11 energy. You know, this is about believing, trusting, having compassion, understanding, knowing your worth. So this is showing you big changes coming in now when you allow yourself to work it all out. Answers are coming. You are powerful and you are strong. So you're realizing today when you go within that no matter what's going on, love conquers all. For the masculines then, wow, masculine wanting to reach out, look at this here, powerful, so this is the six of coins, they've got the eight on here too, okay, look at this for powerful, this is obviously giving and receiving, but we've got the number eight on there which is connected with abundance, so what I'm feeling here is your masculine is ready to reach out to you. You know, what are they being guided to do by heaven? Express their emotion. And this is because they want to give you the world. You know, they don't want to give you breadcrumbs. This is why it's a pentacle connected with the physical world, connected with money, security. They're wanting to take care of you, to show you that they care, reaching out, to be able to give you something concrete in the 3D world. This is why you have to give them the sign. We've also got here the four of coins, which is about letting go. So this is also powerful. I'm just looking at these beautiful, um, you know, we've got like the moon there as well. And that's the, the new moon. So I'm, I'm looking at these symbols too here on the masculine. So we've got the ant there for protection. So this journey is protected. You know, it's super powerful. And the angels are showing you here change, you know, movement in this moment. So the angels are asking you to let go. Now, this is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of coins, okay? Because, you know, I'm not very good with the numer numer what is it? The numerology or, you know, the numbers, you know, these kind of um, thingy numbers. But what the angels are saying here is this is about letting go and trusting that your masculine is finding their way. Okay, this is why you have to read the cards intuitively and not what you see. You know, like the, the actual numbers and all these things, you have to trust what you hear, feel and see with your spiritual truth so what this is a card of self-love a card of working on self you can see that there the mask is preparing because they're drawing me to the throat chakra and we've got the green energy there which is connected with healing and speaking with love because the green is connected with the heart chakra and it's coming up there and it's like something's coming up, something's ready to be expressed. So your masculine is saying this to you. So the message coming through is let go. And the masculines are letting go. Okay, that's why I picked up on the four of coins energy. Because letting go is about letting it out. So your masculine today wants to let it out. Okay, and you may be feeling this. So if your masculine's quiet today and you're feeling a bit lost or alone or worried let that go because they are preparing to express their emotion. 
We've also got the Five of Cups, and this is like really powerful because you know it's showing you the pain they go through. So you know they feel the pain too, and this is the whole reason why I'm doing this masculine series because as a divine feminine, sometimes we don't realize that because the masculines don't process or deal with it the way that the feminine does. So we have to see it from a different perspective. So the masculine there is kind of in this fear, you know, this loneliness, this kind of isolation, which makes perfect sense with that energy coming up in the daily angel reading. And for the feminine to get the hermit here, you may be feeling this today, feeling your masculine's pain, feeling their struggle, you know, feeling this because they want to be able to give you what you deserve. And they're working on this right now. Three of coins working on this. We've also got the numbers one, 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 connect you with believe, believe in your mission, believe in yourself, believe in your journey, trust your masculine to do what your masculine needs to do. And that this is shown here, you know, creation. So I feel this is a card of creation to lead to union. Look at this. Wow. And we've got the lovers. I've got angel bumps. So, you know, we've got the, I mean, what a beautiful message to come out for the masculine here. The masculine showing you today that this love is real, that they are feeling you. And remember, there's a lot of sexual energy around today. So you are feeling each other. The candles are strong, the burning, and it's all leading to a relationship because love conquers all. So this is about long lasting commitment. This is about union coming together at the right time in divine time, trusting they will find their way because they're showing you the power. And your masculine and you there have both got your eyes closed. So you're feeling that power, you know, that intensity of the connection, the chemistry between you, the way that nothing else matters when you are together, whether that be on the 3D plane or the 5D plane, nothing else matters because love conquers all. And they give me a little bit of fear. So they have to be ready for this and you have to be ready for this and the cup is overflowing. So it's meant to be. So the message coming through very strong here is it's meant to be trust your masculine is doing their work and for the journey, don't give up. Wow. You know, look at this. So this is a card. This is a seven of wands. So this is about defending yourself, standing up for what you believe in, but the message is don't give up. Okay. Don't give up on what you want, even if you have to fight for it. You are a hero, Superman, Superwoman. You know, Superman and Superwoman have to fight for it. They have to defend their world. You know, they have to defend God. And this is what the angels are saying to you. You know, sometimes you have to stand up for this connection. You have to stand up and speak your truth. You know, if somebody's being negative to you, don't listen to them. Listen to yourself. The masculines are doing this now. They're fighting for this love because love conquers all and it's unlike anything they've ever experienced before. And they are feeling this heat and this power and this love because love conquers all things. Really beautiful. So let's do the crystal message then. So we're going to pull one for each, each energy. So we're going to pull a card for the divine feminine. Wow. Wait till you see what that is. Card for the masculine and a card for the journey. Wow, is that the one? No, we got to come up one for the journey. Thank you, angels. Wow, so beautiful, okay, because I can see what the other There's messages on the back and front. So first of all, look at this for the journey, the angel of kindness, the angel of kindness, and this is pal uh, pink calcite. And, you know, when I look to that, first of all, the rose quartz energy there about opening the heart. So this is why Archangel Jophiel is around today, helping you to see through the eyes of love, to think with kindness about the connection, to see the connection with love and kindness. And the message says, I am blessed with nurturing vibrations wherever I go. I am gentle with myself. I recognize that kind heartedness brings about better life situations. I am kind and compassionate with myself and others, and I enjoy loving relationships. So beautiful affirmations here. So the angel saying to you, you are blessed. And you are blessed with nurturing vibrations wherever you go. So wherever you go, whatever you do, you are being blessed with love, harmony and peace. You are gentle and be gentle with yourself because you are a gentle being. And recognize that being kind brings about better life situations. So when you're kind, 
kind about your journey, kind about your twin, because your words have power, then it brings better things in. You know, if you focus on all the good things about your masculine, then you're going to see and experience good things connected with your masculine. If you look at the bad things or, you know, the bad choices they've made or the things that have happened, you're going to bring more pain in. And everything is for your growth and for your healing anyway. So there's no bad choices. They do what's meant to bring healing in for you both. Be kind and compassionate with yourself. And then, you know, you'll enjoy loving relationships. So be kind with yourself, with the situation, with your twin, with others today. Kindness is the key. And the message says, do you need more uh, sweetness in your life? And this is beautiful, especially because yesterday for members, we had the ice cream come up, sweetness. And we've got the honey bee, you know, is this sign of a miracle, you know, honey, sweetness. So do you need more sweetness in your life? So if you're thinking your journey doesn't feel very sweet right now, it may feel bitter because of the pain ask yourself how can you change this are you gentle with yourself in your words and your thoughts and this is what i said right at the beginning words and thoughts have power so you have to be gentle be kind be loving and operate from the fruit of the spirit not the seven deadly sins you know to focus on love and compassion and empathy and patience and all these beautiful things that make you a hero and make you strong and not, you know, make you weak. You know, sometimes we think being that way makes us weak, but it doesn't. It makes us stronger. It makes us weak when we give in to the ego because the ego brings in pain, fear, negativity, doubt, you know, and all of the, the, the darkness that it brings in. So we have to move out of that energy. Trust yourself with kindness cultivate loving friends, family and environment, be your own best friend and the best friend you can be to others and it's really powerful because I'm doing the readings now for February and they were available early for members and you know one of the ones I did yesterday, I'm not sure if it was um, Libra or Scorpio, was all about friendships and what the angels are saying is as we move forward, make you, you know, make yourself your own best friend because when you love yourself, and you give to yourself, and you're in harmony with yourself, then your life will fall into alignment, and look at this divine feminine, the angel of alignment for you, so alignment coming in, this means alignment in your life, alignment in your connection, alignment between the masculine and feminine energy within yourself, and you and your masculine are coming into alignment, which will lead to communication, and the message says, my chakras are balanced and in perfect alignment. I live my life harmoniously and energy flows through my effortlessness. So the angels are saying when you are effortless with this, you know, when you just know everything is moving forward into your life and you trust it, things happen effortlessly. I am a channel of divine wisdom and my intuition is enhanced. I easily connect with the source and all that is. So remember, source is your, you know, God is your source. Source is the answer to all the tips. So the angels are saying to you, your chakras are balancing right now and they are moving into perfect alignment. So if you've been feeling anything physically, remember it's ascension, feeling the tingles in the head. Maybe you're feeling that cough or that pressure in the throat. You know, maybe you feel your heart expanding or you've been having some palpitations. You know, maybe you've been having bubbling in the tummy or, feeling that something's coming, something needs to be expressed, maybe you've been having back pain, or you've been experiencing pain in the legs or feet, it's all connected with your body preparing for alignment, live your life harmoniously, and energy will flow through you effortlessly, so the angels say when you let go, everything will flow, when you live in the now, when you come back into the moment, you feel more at peace, you're trusting the journey, you're having faith, you're moving into alignment with your true self, which is your higher self, your intuition and your knowingness of who you are. You are a channel of divine wisdom and your intuition is enhanced and it's even more powerful because you've got the high priestess today. So the angels are reminding you that your intuition now is enhanced because you're connected with the, the divine. You are easily connected with the source and all that is. So the angels are reminding you of your power 
to go within and to listen to the messages you receive. And this is Kyanite. Have you been feeling off kilter? Are you confused or does life seem chaotic? So if you're going through any chaos, confusion, upheaval, you're feeling off balance, consciously align your chakras, focus your intention on balance. And as you regain your center, you can be connected with higher wisdom and use your intuition as a daily part of your life. And the angels are guiding me to say to you, so put both of your feet flat on the floor. You know, if you're sitting down, so you feel the ground, you know, if you sit with your legs crossed or put your feet on the ground and feel yourself connecting with the roots of the earth, because it will bring balance back in. It will align you. It will help you to see, come back into the now and see through the eyes of love. So you're not focused on the fear. Take a step back, zoom out to zoom in, to see things clearly. And we've got the angel of flexibility for the divine masculine. So the masculines need flexibility. You know, they need to be flexible and they need you to be flexible. That means that, you know, they're giving me this ear. I mean, I'm seeing that intuitively like a butterfly, which is about their transformation. So the angels saying they are transforming right now and you have to be flexible with them. So if they cancel plans or change the mind, don't go into fear. Don't take things personally or blame them or struggle. Instead, think, okay, something better is coming and be adaptable. So they need you to be flexible and they are showing you that they are becoming more flexible themselves. So this is about them sorting out their mind, making decisions, making choices, working out who they are, what they want and where they're going. I am flexible and adaptable. I objectively observe circumstances and seize new opportunities as situations naturally shift and change. So this situation, as you let go and surrender, as you're flexible, as you allow your mask and the space they need, things will naturally shift and change. So trust in the universe to do all of this for you. I bend and flex with the flow of life around me. There is no resistance, only willingness. So your mask is saying, I'm willing to change my life. I'm willing to be flexible. Whereas before they were stuck in their ways and not seeing things clearly, they are becoming more flexible and adaptable to this change. And they are observing their circumstances and they are starting to take control to seize new opportunities and allowing things to shift and change. Really beautiful. And we've got leopard skin jasper. And this is beautiful because, you know, leopard skin or leopard is about boldness and skin is about change because, you know, we shed skin. And this is about their rebirth. That, that's why I'm seeing that as a butterfly, okay? Because it's about changing. It also looks to me they're like um, a snake skin, which is about them releasing the past and shedding the past and preparing to be reborn into this new energy. Are people around you suddenly changing their tune? Have you decided it's time to change yours? Do you need to be more flexible like a leopard? So this is saying the masculines are realizing that their situation is changing. People around them are changing. Why? Because they are changing. They are becoming adaptable to who they are. They are seeking out their own journey, alignment with their true self. And it's bringing in shifts and changes. It's like the wheel of fortune is coming in. Fate and destiny moving things where it's meant to be. Stalk, he says, stalk yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally, and observe yourself and those around you. So this is about them paying attention to who they are, what they're doing. You know, it says, stalk yourself. Well, what I'm feeling with that is, you are a part of them. They belong to you and you belong to them. So, you know, you belong to each other. So they're also kind of stalking you. And, you know, I don't like using that word because, you know, it sounds very obsessive, but watching you. And it says, observe yourself and those around you. So they are observing things. So I feel the masculines are showing you in this card that they've got their beady eye on you. You know, they're paying attention to you. They're watching you mentally, which means in their head, when they're thinking of you physically, how their body is reacting when they think of you spiritually in the 5D realm and emotionally when they are allowing themselves to feel. And they're giving me fear. So they are working through all these fears. So what they are observing 
is showing them who they are, what they're going through, and what they need to change. So a lot of power coming in for the masculines today and a lot of power and shifts coming into the connection. So remember your power today, divine family. Things are aligning. You are safe and you are loved. You are the high priestess. And really in spiritual truth, there's nothing to fear. Just know that your words, like your thoughts, have power and trust in who you are. Have a great day sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.